Hey guys, social media manager at Mytrix, and today we're gonna be showing how to start up your Asus ROG Ally from scratch and install Windows. So first thing you do is locate the power button at the top and you're gonna hold it. After holding, it'll light up and the control sticks will start lighting up. That sweet RGB lighting. After the logo loads for a bit, we're gonna get prompted with the screen to install Windows. Now, this machine comes packed with Windows 11. So you get brand new support, up-to-date drivers, just like you would installing on a PC normally. All right, and as you can see here, we have the Windows logo loading up. This is gonna ask me, um, the country or region. So I'm going to choose United States. All right. Uh, is this the right keyboard layout or input method? We're going to choose US. And then I'm going to skip the option for the second keyboard. It's going to connect me. I'm actually going to put in my Wi-Fi information. So All right, after adding your internet, you're gonna hit next. And immediately it'll start checking for updates. The reason why it starts doing that, simply, so that to make sure that the machine runs as smooth as possible. And so that I can add in all of those Windows apps that you may need. You just have to click on Except right there, and then you could start naming your device. I'm gonna name my device My Tricks Tech. Okay, and then hit that little enter button. And just like that, it's doing its job. All in all, it's a very easy process to install Windows. I believe that the Aces ROG Ally is a very strong machine, and having Windows 11 pushes it to the top of the handheld gaming consoles. Just simply being able to download anything you want and not be forced to just one way to launch games puts it at the top. All right, so after you selected all of your options and the Aces Rock Ally restarts, we get put to the screen to unlock your Microsoft experience. You're just gonna hit sign in And you can, if you don't have a Microsoft account, you can actually just create a new one right here. There's sign in options as well. And you can just choose instead a way to use your face, fingerprint, pin, or security key. So you can sign into that account. Not only that, you can sign in with your pass key through iPhone, iPad, or an Android device. The option that I'm gonna use to sign in is gonna be through my email account. Afterwards, you're asked if you'd like to use your fingerprint to sign in for faster and more securely, but I'm actually gonna skip that for now. That's completely up to you. You're gonna create a pin as well for this device. Very easy way to sign into your account. It's gonna use one, two, three, four, five, six. Something really easy. If Somebody finds this account. Mm, it can't be a common number pattern. All right, so actually we can't do that. All right, so we're gonna create our new pin. We're gonna do 147369. We're just gonna do in that line. All right, after that, you choose your privacy settings. I'm gonna take off location. Um, find my device. Um, sure, we'll keep that. We'll just hit next. And after that, it asks you for your information for the warranty. Make sure to sign up for that. Just in case anything happens to your Aces Rock Ally, you will be covered. All right, we're gonna skip all this stuff, all these customizations. Uh, we don't need any of that. We know what we're doing. Okay. 
we're gonna skip all these these extra add-ons like keeping your your OneDrive and being able to have access to your recent browsing data, all these all these options that aren't really needed. At the end of the day, we want to get straight into playing video games. Now that your Asus ROG Ally does come with Xbox Game Pass trial. So if you do want to try it out and see what the games are like, if that, that new account that you made makes you eligible. So now the final step is getting Windows set up. And as you can see here, it says it's gonna take a few minutes. Make sure not to power off your Asus ROG Ally at this point. As you can see, you can easily do this process without having the power adapter connected to the Asus ROG Ally. But what I do recommend is once you get this system, make sure to charge it completely. Just charge it for a few hours, just so, to make sure that on a, important process just like this one it doesn't just randomly die cool. all right and at this moment it is asking for the asus rock ally to be plugged in so we're just going to plug in the usb-c port right here just to make sure to keep it on as well this is just to make sure just in case that if you're on low battery the system doesn't just corrupt and you're stuck in a loop in the middle of downloading Windows 11. All right, and after loading up, as you can see here, we have Windows 11 working perfectly fine. As you can see here, it's saying a new way to discover tips and we fully accomplished it. Make sure to check out the rest of our videos where we show how to use Steam on your Asus ROG Ally and how to install Xbox Game Pass. Thank you so much for watching and have a good one.